Hello everyone and welcome to Programming Kids. My name is Lynn and in today's video I'll be teaching you everything you have to know about variables in Python. Make sure to grab a notebook, to take notes or a cup of tea and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's just clear out what does variable mean. Variable is a memory location that is used to store data values. And the unique thing about Python is that it doesn't have a command for declaring variable. It just creates a variable the second you enter a value in. We'll talk more about this later on in the video. So now let's talk about types of variables. Um, variables might also be known as data types. So, okay, here we go. First of all, data types are used to represent a value that tells the, what operator can be performed in some kind of data. And the types are numbers, strings, lists, tuples, and dictionary. So let's start. We're going to explain each one. But before, let's just go through the rules for naming variables. Unfortunately, you cannot name the variable whatever you want. There are some rules that you have to follow. First of all, your variable cannot start with, an, with a number. You can do an underscore or a letter if you want though. And notice that the Python is case sensitive. So boy with a cap, with an uppercase B at the beginning is different from a boy with a lowercase So if you try entering a variable and then pressing enter and you regret what you wrote and you want to delete it, you'll often find Python not responding to you. That's where del function come in. If you want to delete any variable that you should be using the del function. And if you want to add a variable, you should use the append function. So how are variables formed? Well, variables are formed when you when some when you assign a value to them. For instance, if you have a test and you had a math test and you wanted to record all of your tests in Python to so make like a program on your phone to check all of your exams and see the difference or something like that you will have to put a value for each test. So if you got uh, 57 on your first exam, then you should, then the value of the first variable, which is test one is 57, while the value for test three is 96. And you can see how you have improved. So what are numbers? Numbers are used to store numeric values in Python. And we have a lot of types of numbers. One, we have int, known as integer. Then we have long integer, floats, and complex numbers. Okay, so what are int? int, as we said, are integers. They are usually positive or negative, and they have no decimal point. But they should also be a whole number. What are long integers? So Long integers are very long and they are usually unlimited, they are infinite, and usually you would use the L, the letter L to tell Python that this is a long number. And now we're going to be talking about floats. Floats are real numbers represented with a decimal point dividing the integer and the fractional part. And sometimes you would have to write floats using the scientific no notation. So, for example, if you want to write 6.7 times 10 to the power of 5, in Python, what you have to do is replace the 10 with an E. And this is how Python will get it. That you are trying to tell Python that you are entering a float using the scientific notation. And now let's talk about complex numbers. Complex is a built-in function that returns a complex number with real and imaginary values. It is usually used to convert a string or a number into a complex one. So here are a few examples of each that we just learned right now. 
So here we have integers. You can see positive 10, positive 100. Um, if you don't see a plus sign, that means it's positive. Well, if you see a negative sign, then it's negative. So we have minus 786, positive 080, or positive 80, negative 0490, and so on. You can even add a letter like x over here. Then for long variables, we have long, very long numbers, letter L, notice, even here. So here we have an upper key L and here we have a lower key L. It's your choice. You can put whichever you need. And then we have the float. We have decimal points and negative, positive. Here we have a notation and Next, we have complex, more letters. You can see they're kind of complicated. Letters in between, negative sign, decimals. And let's move on. Now we will be talking about strings. Strings are arrays. Easily, like, let's explain that. String is a word or a sentence. They are usually enclosed by double or single quotations. If you want to know more about double and single quotations and placeholder, then make sure to check out our last video where I sh showed you how to use double and single codes. I'll link that in the description box. But sometimes you would often find, find people using triple codes. And the reason is that when a string has many single codes or double codes, the string extends over a multiple line and triple codes, will, you'll have to use them. Okay, so lists are variables that can hold a number of strings in an organized set. And fortunately, there's also rules for lists, but they are really easy. Usually, lists are written using squared brackets and they contain a list of values obviously you can always change the size and the value which is a good thing and individual items are referred to using the index number now let's talk a little bit about tuples tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable written using round brackets called the parentheses and a tuple consists of a number of values separated by commas unlike lists so there are also rules for tuples you always um enclose the tuples in parentheses if you don't know what parentheses are they're a round kind of bracket uh, they're also mentioned here and um tuples usually contain a fixed list of values and they cannot be changed so size and values cannot be changed and same as lists, um, individual items are referred to using the index number. So the difference between tuples and lists. The main difference is that lists are enclosed in um, square brackets and their elements and size can be changed. While tuples are enclosed in parentheses and they have circled type of or curved type of brackets and they cannot be updated or cannot be changed. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about dictionaries. A dictionary is a collection which is unordered, changeable, and indexed. So the difference between lists and dictionaries is that a list is an ordered sequence of objects where dictionaries are unordered and they're all over the place. All right, guys, I hope this video was easy for you. I think by the end of this, by the end of this video, you have um, understand what is all of these variables and I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new make sure to like this video if you did and subscribe to our channel to become one of the members of our family and to be a young programmer make sure to also turn the notification bell on to get notified every time we upload a new video more videos will be coming for programming on Python Keep programming and I'll see you guys next time on programming. Bye for now.